Good morning, my tubies, my TikTokers. Sheila True Love here with you. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. Today, I want us to focus on discouragement. You know, because there are so many people in the world today who feel very, very discouraged. You know, I posted a video yesterday with a female who says she's losing her faith. She's done. She, she can't be so bothered anymore. And why does God permit people to suffer for so long? So she's ready to lose her faith. I think she was just venting because she's a, a wonderful, uh, beautiful young lady. And I guess she's kind of tired. She's probably struggling on her own with, um, I think she has her children that was taken away or something like that. But I already sent her my phone number so we can, I could try to help build her up because discouragement, it comes knocking on everyone's door at one time or another, but we shouldn't get discouraged. Jesus has not forgotten us. And I know people don't want to hear that when they're constantly going through it. At the same time, the Bible tells us that he's always working on his purpose for our lives. The fact is, if we are children of God, and we all are, hopefully you are not an atheist, agnostic, or turning your back on Jesus Christ. But the fact is, if you are a child of God, then your problems are his problems. And he's much better at fighting your battles and solving your problems than you will ever be. The only job that we have is to trust him to work it all out. When we attempt to live our lives by our own wisdom and our own strength, we're committing that sin called pride. Once we adopt wrong thinking, we are more vulnerable to the attack of who? Satan the devil. If we have tried to be a servant of God but have had the wind knocked out of us, we should not lose hope or think that Jesus Christ cannot use us anymore because that's not true. That is a deception to believe you will your days will always be dark. We all have our moments of disappointment, our, our pessimistic thinking, worrying and anxiety and gloominess. However, you have to keep in mind the true man of God, the true woman of God, they don't stay in that place. Depression is only for a season and a short season if, this is the clincher, if you have faith. Tribulations and trouble will come, but Jesus will always, he will always help you get through it. So when you are down, don't stay down. You don't have to stay down. You will rise again. You will rise again. Again, because God loves us unconditionally. Yes, Jesus does. Jehovah God and Jesus. One thing that is helpful is maybe volunteer to help other people to try to take your mind off of your problems. There's always a lot of people doing so much worse. It's harder to be depressed when you are helping other people. Also, I find that to be true. So why not try writing on a piece of paper the many things that you have to be thankful for also? It may it think about if you have your family, you have a home, you have a job, you have food on the table, you have clothes on your back. So we got to try to focus on the things that are positive. It's hard to be depressed or discouraged when you're giving thanks and helping the less fortunate people around. And I know that's not consoling for a lot of people when they're going through it. At the same time, you know, I don't have the resources and I don't have the power to fix things, but I know who does. And that's Jesus Christ. You pray to Jehovah. I'm hoping people are doing it the correct way. Just go to Je Jehovah in prayer. You don't pray to Jesus. You pray to Jehovah. And then Jehovah hands it over to his son, Jesus. And then Jesus uses the Holy Spirit to get things done. 
But don't forget throughout your day, always keep talking to Jesus Christ. I talk to Jesus so much. It's like it is. He's my best friend, my best, best, bestie. I tell him everything. I pray to Jehovah about things. And then I talk it over with Jesus Christ. and let him know where I'm hurting. And please help me. Please help me. And he always comes through. And people have to understand a lot of the times when you're going through things, that's God and Jesus trying to get your attention. They're trying to redirect you someplace else and you're just not catching on. <clears throat> Some scriptures I'd like for you to look up is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Let me see. In Isaiah 41, 10, it says, don't worry, I am with you. Don't be afraid. I am your God. I will make you strong and I will help you. I will support you with my right hand that brings victory. And then you have Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. And don't forget Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And there it tells us, I say this because I know the plans that I have for you. This message is from the Lord. I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. Then you will call my name. You will come to me and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will search for me. And when you search for me with all your heart, you will find me. Also look up Joshua chapter one, verse nine, Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter six, verse 10. So please do that when you're feeling discouraged or you're feeling down. Please don't give up because that's what Satan the devil wants more than anything. Don't let him win. Don't make his heart rejoice. Make your heavenly father's heart rejoice because he's the one who got your back and looking out. Anyway, let's go for your how well do you know your Bible, your Bible trivia. And then we have questions dealing with Job. This is perfect timing. The first question is, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day. Then what did he wish? Was it A, that he could die? B, that he could sleep? C, that he had never been born? Or was it D, that he could be healed? Your next question, how many sons and daughters were born to Job after his sufferings? You see, even Job suffered, but he held tight and things got way better for him. So how many sons and daughters were born to Job after his, su his sufferings? Was it, five, was it A, five sons and three daughters, B, seven sons and three daughters, C, three sons and five daughters, or was it 10 sons and 10 daughters? Your next question, how much longer did Job live after his sufferings, was it A, 85 years, B, 100 years, C, 120 years, or was it D, 140 years? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to give you that amount of questions for today because um, I got a lot of things to do this morning, but I had to make sure that I put first the kingdom, like the Bible says, put first the kingdom and all other things will be added to you. So when you get up in the morning, make sure you do your daily devotional. Make sure the first thing you do in the morning is to put the kingdom first. Who, what is the kingdom? The kingdom is Jesus Christ, putting God and Christ first in your life. So wake up in the morning, read your daily devotional, read one chapter in the Bible, and then start your day. That's the way I live my life. I can't, uh, you know, tell people. I can only give you suggestions. Anyway, this is Sheila True Love. It's going to be a good day. Jehovah loves you so much. Jesus Christ got your back because he loves you. And I love you very much. Have a great day.